Waynesburg will now move from left to right from our vantage point. Or correction, no, St. Vincent will move from left to right from our vantage point. Waynesburg will move from right to left. Waynesburg wearing white jerseys with orange numbers. And St. Vincent wearing black jerseys with yellow numbers. Waynesburg will inbound. It's Matt Popek from the far sideline. He'll inbound around half court. Second half begins, 20 minutes on the clock in this second half. And the score, 36-27, Waynesburg leads St. Vincent. Here's Ryan Felberg across half court, bounce pass. Over to the right wing. There's Jansen Knotts on the right wing. Being guarded tightly, hands off of the right wing to Matt Popek. Popek has it now right wing. Passes to the top of the key. Isaiah Alonzo will pass out to Ryan Felberg, who drives the right baseline, but stops being guarded heavily. Now out to Popek on the right wing. Six seconds on the shot clock, Alonzo in, pass out to the left wing corner, Jansen Knotts with an open three, it's off the left side of the rim. Knotts went for his own rebound, but ran into Dillard, and then Shamar Bennett got the rebound for St. Vincent, and now here's St. Vincent quickly to their offensive side of the court. It's Corey Harden with it on the left wing, shot inside the three-point arc, and missed, went in and out of the hoop, and now a contested possession called right by the left baseline. As a matter of fact, the call will actually be out of bounds over by that left baseline off of Ryan Felberg. So St. Vincent will inbound. 19-12 left in the second half. It's 36-27. Waynesburg leads St. Vincent. No scoring yet in this second half. About a minute in. There's Walter Bonds on the right wing. He's made two threes, has six points for St. Vincent in this game. Now Dillard with it. Over to Harden. Harden on the left wing, dribbles inside the left lane. Now passes out. And there's Walter Bonds now top of the key, dribbling inside left lane, takes a jump shot from about 10 feet away and makes it. Walter Bonds, his first basket that wasn't a three, he's got eight total in the game. It's now 36-29, St. Vincent trails Waynesburg, 18-40 left in the second half. There's Bryson Wilt, left wing over to Matt Popek, top of the key. Popek being guarded by Bonds, the two number fives. Over to Bryson Wilt on the right wing. Inside. There's a right lane, Isaiah Alonzo with it, spins around, takes a shot, a flail shot that hit off the front of the rim, no good. E. Tuck with the rebound, he dribbles across half court, and has an underhand pass to Walter Bonds on the right wing. Thought Waynesburg could have found a better shot there. There was about 15 seconds left in the shot clock as a kickball violation is called on Ryan Felberg. Walter Bonds an attempted pass, but yeah, Felberg hit off his foot. So from the near sideline, Walter Bonds will inbound for St. Vincent. 36-29 is the score. Waynesburg leads this one. 18 minutes left in the second half. A drive inside the paint by Nelson Etuck. The ball went in and out of the net, but a whistle stops play. It's a foul caught on Bryson Wood of Waynesburg, his second personal. Waynesburg with one foul in the half, and since it was a shooting foul, Nelson Etuck will go to the line. Nelson Etuck entering play 50% from the free throw line, but he's one for two in this game. And even 13 of 26. Well, I guess, what now, 14 of 29 after that first miss. Yeah, miss five bounces off different parts of the rim and it eventually <laughs> went on off the left side. So the first one, no good. Etuck leads St. Vincent and Steeles came in with 11. That's 18th in the conference. Second free throw good for Nelson Etuck. He's two for four from the free throw line. So both his points in the game have come from the free throw line again. Two total for him. It's now 36-30. Waynesburg leading St. Vincent in this men's basketball game. Ryan Felberg top of the key over to Matt Popek on the right wing. Popek being guarded by Bonds. Now a pass inside to an open Bryson Wilt. But that one is blocked by Etuck. Waynesburg gets it back though. Matt Popek receives a pass. The top of the key now over to Bryson Wilt on the right wing. Seven seconds on the shot clock. Alonzo with it down by that right baseline. Behind the back pass. Inside to Jansen Knotts, and under the net, Jansen Knotts makes a layup. He's got five total, first two of the half, and it's 38-30 now. Waynesburg leads St. Vincent. 17 minutes, 20 seconds left in the second half. Walter Bonds top of the key. Now over to Etuck on the left wing. He dribbles toward the foul line, now passes out to the right wing. There's Bonds. Back to Etuck, driving the left lane. He stops, though, being guarded tightly in a pass inside that was intended for Bonds. Etuck thought Bonds was going to drive inside the paint. You just Received let that him, pass, but it just went out of bounds by the right baseline. Yeah, let him too far as well, and it's a shame. Wilt kind of hesitated on that blocked shot, and Etuck just swatted that out of there. Ryan Felberg with it now for Waynesburg. Top of the key over to Bryson Wilt on the right wing. Wilt over to Popek, top of the key. Popek with open space, shoots a three, and it's off the front of the rim, and it missed. Got a catch and shoot. Hesitated, took a dribble. Jamar Bennett on the rebound for St. Vincent. Now it's Walter Bonds on the left wing. 
Bonds out to Etuck on the right wing corner. There's Harden now dribbles to the right wing and passes top of the key. There's Nelson Etuck. 16 minutes, 40 seconds left, second half. In the second half, Waynesburg leads by eight. Corey Harden over to Shamar Bennett, top of the key, now by the foul line, being guarded by Alonzo, and a whistle stops play. A foul called, an offense. That was yeah, an offensive foul on Shamar Bennett, his second personal, St. Vincent's first of the half. That was about as obvious of an offensive foul as you could find in this sport. Bennett driving with the right hand, flexed that left elbow, extended it. Alonzo sold it a little bit, fell to the ground, got the call. Ryan Philberg with it now for Waynesburg. Waynesburg leads this men's basketball game by eight. Walter Bonds tipped the ball away from Matt Popek on the left wing. And the officials say it went out of bounds off of Matt Popek, so St. Vincent will gain possession. 16 minutes, 15 seconds left in the second half. Waynesburg leading this game. This is round one of the PAC men's basketball tournament. The winner of this game goes on to play the number two seed at Geneva. Walter Bonds missed off the front of the rim there, but a whistle stops play on the rebound. It was Isaiah Alonzo and Anthony Dillard who went up, but contested possession called by the officials and the arrow points in favor of Waynesburg. That was pretty quick to the Correction, call. Saint Vincent. Pretty quick to the call for a jump ball there on St. Vincent, but the arrow flips back to Waynesburg. Betsco re-enters the game for St. Vincent after that stoppage in play. Shamar Bennett spins and dribbles inside the paint and he ends up making the basket over a couple of Waynesburg players. Bennett only had two in the first half. He had 26 last game. Hopefully he can still stay in check. Shamar Bennett with four total now. Waynesburg back on offense. Matt Popek on the left wing, passes inside. Isaiah Alonzo fighting past Anthony Dillard, spins. And a whistle stops play as Alonzo tried to jump up and make that shot. 38-32 is the score. St. Vincent trails Waynesburg. Anthony Dillard caught on the foul for St. Vincent. Dillard now with three personal. St. Vincent has two in the half. It looks like Terrence Smith will elect to keep Dillard in the game with three fouls. Oh, no, check that. It looks like Ocean Jones will come to the scores table. But Isaiah Alonzo with the line for Waynesburg after being fouled on an attempted shot. He makes the first one. 16 total now for Alonzo. He leads scores on both teams. Yeah, and the, he's now two for three at the free throw line. The difference in this one, Nick, from last game, again, Alonzo had 23 but shot 50% from the field. Six of eight in the first half, 16 points, trying to make it 17. Second one in and out, but Jansen Knott's got the rebound, put up a shot off the backboard, but it missed the entire rim and goes into the hands of the St. Vincent Bearcats. Now there's Walter Bonds with it on the far side. He's now dribbling by the left wing. Over to Etok, top of the key. Out of the right wing corner, there's Jones. Pass inside, but a kick ball off of Bryson Wild of Waynesburg, so possession will stay with St. Vincent. The ball will be inbounded on the right baseline. 15 minutes, 18 seconds left in the second half. Waynesburg leads this game 39-32. Walter Bonds pass in. Shamar Bennett dribbling now under the net. Passes out to around the foul line where Nelson Etuck puts good, up a basket, dribbled inside the paint. Good take, got it to go with some contact. Four points for Etuck, it's now 39-34. Waynesburg still leads. Felberg inside now, but he missed the shot off the front of the rim, tried for a layup, no good, and now St. Vincent quickly transitions to offense. Walter Bonds tried to pass it, but it's stolen Woo! away by Matt Popek. Behind the back dribble, here he comes now, top of the key to the foul line, over to the right wing. He looked like he was gonna shoot a three, but he did not. Passed it to Isaiah Alonzo, who fumbled it for a second down by the left wing, and he fumbled it into the hands of Etuck. Etuck dribbles across half court, pass inside the paint to Shamar Bennett, who took two steps and then made the layup off the backboard. That's six points now for Shamar Bennett and Waynesburg now leading by three. It's 39-36, a timeout called by Waynesburg, a full timeout with 14 minutes, 28 seconds left in the second half. Just an update on the other side of the bracket. The second half of this game has not quite started yet, but Bethany leads Franciscan. Bethany, the eighth seed on the men's basketball uh, seeding. Franciscan, the number nine seed, and this is the game right now. The number seven seed, Waynesburg, hosting the number 10 seed, St. Vincent. That's something that doesn't happen often. St. Vincent's program has been pretty respectable over the years. Uh, I haven't seen, at least within the last 10 years, where they finished last. Yeah. I mean, this is a team uh, and a program under D.P. Harris, who's no longer with the team, Terrence Smith, in his second season at the helm. That went 70, or rather 87 and 27 
in the four years in a row that they won the PAC basketball tournament from 2012 to 2016. Since that 2016 title, this program 74 and 43 overall. Still a darn good record, but you're talking about a four year, just absolute, and even five year, honestly, because that first year that they, it would have been 16, 17, they lost in the finals to Thomas Moore. So you're talking about a five year stretch where you're winning or being in a conference championship. And, you know, this isn't St. Vincent Standards, 2-7 and seven in the last place. Bryce and Wilt will inbound for Waynesburg on the right baseline. Pass to Popek. There's a press coming now on Waynesburg's defensive half of the court, but Matt Popek breaks it, crosses half court. Now he's at the top of the key, 14-20 left in the second half. Felberg on the right wing now. Felberg dribbles top of the key. Over to Matt Popek on the left wing corner. Pass up and in to Isaiah Alonzo, who's being guarded tightly by Shamar Bennett. Alonzo tried again for a behind-the-back pass, but got tipped away. Waynesburg kept possession, though. Now, I say Alonzo with a three from forever away. It hit off the backboard. No good. He flailed that shot up. Now St. Vincent quickly moving to offense. Shamar Bennett under the net tries for the layup, and he makes it over Bryson Wolf. Here he comes. Shamar Bennett, six points in the half, eight points total. And now it's a one-point game. Waynesburg still leading, though, 39-38. Alonso on the left wing, pass inside, Jansen Knotts under the hoop. A layup off the backboard goes through. I was going to say Jansen earlier. Knotts now at seven points. I was going to say earlier, Knotts into the ball game. Big stuff underneath considering the fact that Dillard, the 6'4 forwards on the bench with three fouls. Walter Bonds from the left wing inside to Shamar Bennett by the left elbow. Now he dribbles the left lane, tries off the backboard, but it missed. Off the back of the rim, Bryson Wood on the rebound. It opened Jansen Knotts right in the paint under the net. And Jansen Knotts with another layup. Two straight baskets for Knotts. He's at nine total now. Waynesburg leading 43-38. 13 minutes left in the second half. St. Vincent now on offense. There's Walter Bonds on the right wing. Passes top of the key now over to Fetzko. Over to Etuck on the left wing corner. He dribbles now toward the foul line. Pass out top of the key. Fetzko with a three-pointer from the left wing. That's good. Yeah, Popek had a hand in his face, too. Give credit to Fetzko, the freshman from Geibel Catholic. Tim Fusina territory. Made the contested shot. Waynesburg on offense now. Matt Popek over to the left wing. There's Bryson Wood who dribbles it up to the top of the key. Bounce pass inside. Matt Popek straight in the middle of the paint. Tries for the layup. That's no good. But Jansen Knotts on the rebound. Puts it off the backboard. And makes it go through. Jansen Knotts now the second Waynesburg player in double digits. Eight Isaiah second Alonso half has points. 16 and Jansen Knotts has 11. It's now 45-41. Waynesburg leads St. Vincent. 12-10 left in the second half. Bonds over to Etuck, top of the key. Back to Bonds on the right wing. Over to Etuck, top of the key by the foul line. Etuck dribbles middle of the paint. And Etuck makes the basket. So the basket counts. For Nelson Etuck, foul called on Jansen Knotts, his third personal. Waynesburg now with two in the half. So Etuck at six points now, and he's got an opportunity for an and one. Jansen Knotts taken out now with three fouls, and into the game comes sophomore Briston Bennett. So Etuck at the line. Etuck, over the season, we talked about uh, during the regular season, shot 50%. Today, he's two for four. He has six total points. Etuck almost made an and one earlier. The layup went in and out. Finishes well near the rim. Missed the and one opportunity. Rebounded by Isaiah Alonzo and Waynesburg has possession now. Bryson Wilt has it. He's being pressed by Jones, but gets it across half court. Now hands off to Matt Popek at the top of the key. Over to the right wing, there's Bryson Wilt again. Wilt dribbles being guarded tightly, and a whistle stops play. Wilt was being guarded by Anthony Dillard, and Dillard will get hit with a foul. Correction, that was Jones. Oceon Jones, first foul for him. Third foul of the half for St. Vincent, and now an inbound coming from the far sideline. Ryan Felberg will inbound to Matt Popek on the right wing. Popek dribbles, left lane, tries for a layup, and... The shot missed, but a whistle stops play. Foul caught on Anthony Dillard, his fourth personal, so one more and he's out of the game. But Anthony Dillard, four personal fouls. St. Vincent, 14 fouls in the half. Matt Popek will go to the line since that was a shooting foul. Matt Popek will be awarded two free throws. 
St. Vincent on a 16-9 run in the second half. First shot good by Popek. He's up to 10 now. Three double-digit scores for Waynesburg. Substitution now for St. Vincent into the game. Corey Harden. Anthony Dillard got taken out. Again, he's in foul trouble now with four and 11 and a half minutes left in the second half. Matt Popek missed his second free throw opportunity. Rebound was taken in by Corey Harden for St. Vincent, and now St. Vincent will come back to offense. St. Vincent down three points with 11 minutes, 20 seconds left in this second half. Walter Bonds, top of the key, shoots it just beyond the foul line, but it went in and out of the net. Rebounded by Waynesburg. Matt Popek will take it across court. Matt Popek being guarded by Walter Bonds at the top of the key. Pass inside to an open Ryan Felberg, who drives inside the paint and puts it high off the backboard. Two more points for Felberg. Seven total, his first two points of the second half, and Waynesburg extends its lead. It's now 48-43. It's a beautiful play drawn up by Coach Fusina. Two down screens, Alonzo, 6'10", a big body, is able to free up Felberg for the layup. Jamar Bennett at the top of the key, dribbles inside the right lane, but struggles to find space, so he passes out. St. Vincent in this men's basketball game. You're listening to Waynesburg University men's basketball on WCYJFM. I'm Nicholas Catlis, Jack Hillgrove with me. Substitution for St. Vincent into the game. It's Adam Bosco. Walter Bonds has it now for St. Vincent at the top of the key over to the left wing. There's E. Tuck. Nelson E. Tuck now dribbles middle of the paint, tries for a layup, and he makes it. Didn't need the backboard for that one. And E. Tuck, the first player for St. Vincent to reach double digits in points. He's up to 11 now. All but one of his points have been scored in the second half. This game now tied 48-48. Waynesburg tied with St. Vincent. Nine and a half minutes left in the second half. Top of the key, Briston Bennett has it over to the left wing. There's Bryson Wolt. Over to Isaiah Alonzo, top of the key. Alonzo drives the right lane, and he gets the ball knocked away yet again. Alonzo struggling to score in the second half, and an attempted coast-to-coast play there by Corey Harden. He tried for a shot, but he missed, and a whistle stopped play. A foul to be reported. It was a shooting foul. Foul caught on Briston Bennett. Briston Bennett now with two personal fouls. Waynesburg up to four in the half. 9-18 left in the second half. It's 48-48. Waynesburg tied with St. Vincent. And Corey Harden will go to the line for a guaranteed two free throws. He has two points, both of which were scored in the first half. And his first free throw misses too long off the back side of the backboard. St. Vincent, 5-0 run. Actually, check that, an 8-0 run. As if I go back to the first Nelson Etok three. Again, it's what killed Waynesburg in the second half of the last time these two teams played. 17-0 17-0 at that point. Hopefully he doesn't get that bad. Corey Harden makes his second free throw. He's up to three now in the game. First point scored this half. It's now 49-48. St. Vincent leads for the first time in a while. Bryson Will takes it across half court for Waynesburg. Stops at the left elbow, passes top of the key. There's Jansen Knotts, newly entered into the game for Matt Popek. Hand off at the top of the key to Isaiah Alonzo being guarded by Shamar Bennett. A pass inside to Ryan Felberg. He's tipped away, but a whistle stop play. Foul called on St. Vincent's Adam Bosco, his first personal. St. Vincent now at five team fouls in the half. And it was not a shooting foul, so Waynesburg will inbound it from the right baseline. It's Preston Bennett inbounding for Waynesburg. Quickly under the net, pass to Will Helton, who shoots it off the backboard and into the basket. Will Helton, his first two points of the half. Four points total for Helton. And Waynesburg back out in front. It's 50-49, eight minutes, 45 seconds left in this second half. Nelson Etuck at the top of the key over to the right baseline where Shamar Bennett tried to dribble past Will Helton who was defending him. But a whistle stops play, a foul called on Will Helton of Waynesburg, his third personal. And Waynesburg now at five team fouls in the half. So both teams have a few players in foul trouble individually and their team fouls right now are running up. Bonus time seven and each team at five now. Shamar Bennett gets the inbound, shoots it from about seven feet away from the basket inside the paint but he missed. As he got knocked to the ground, Bryson Wilt with it now for Waynesburg. Pass tipped though. Wilt tried to pass it, intercepted. There's Harden inside to Shamar Bennett. And Bennett straight inside puts the ball in the basket. Shamar Bennett in double digits now. He's at 10. Bennett averaging nearly 20 points per game, and he scored 26 against Waynesburg back on February the 13th. Quality player that Waynesburg not containing well in this second half. There's Bristol Bennett on the right wing. 
Passes out top of the key. There's Bryson Wolf. Just under eight minutes left in the second half. St. Vincent leads 51-50. Pass inside. There's Briston Bennett. Spins and couldn't get past two St. Vincent defenders. It is an attempted shot. It was intercepted. Nelson Etuck took it and now hands off to Walter Bonds on the far sideline. And now Bonds has it on the left wing. Bonds. Pass over to Shamar Bennett on the left baseline, being guarded by Will Helton. Shamar Bennett inside on the left baseline, and a whistle stops play as Shamar Bennett dribbled inside, and Will Helton again gets caught on a foul. He's had a couple quick fouls in this game, struggling to stay out of foul trouble. Helton with four personal fouls. Waynesburg with 16 fouls in the half. Substitution now out of the game. Will Helton and Bryson Will back into the game. Matt Popek and Ryan Felberg. And another substitution coming in this time. It's for St. Vincent into the game as Anthony Dillard. St. Vincent inbounds from the left baseline. It's Walter Bonds on the left wing. 7.25 left in the second half. Walter Bonds shoots a three from the left baseline, or excuse me, the left wing. And that one missed, rebounded by Matt Popek of Waynesburg. And Waynesburg transitions back to offense. It's a one-point game that St. Vincent leads. This is round one of the men's basketball tournament in the President's Athletic Conference. Jansen Knott's right wing corner bounce pass along the baseline to Isaiah Alonzo who puts up a layup and that's good. Isaiah Alonzo continues to lead all scorers in this game. He's got 18 points and his season average is around 19. Waynesburg leading this one 52-51, 6 minutes 50 seconds left in the second half. St. Vincent back on offense. There's Fetzko over to Harden. Now a cross court pass to Walter Bonds on the right wing corner shot of three. But he missed it, and a whistle stops play. That's not Isaiah a good Alonso call. Alonzo came down with the basketball. Isaiah Alonzo got called with a foul. Not a good call at all. Alonzo had the positioning. Isaiah Alonzo, two personal fouls now in Waynesburg. Has put St. Vincent in bonus time. Waynesburg, seven team fouls in the half. So a one and one opportunity coming to Anthony Dillard. Dillard, one for two. One for three so far in this game from the free throw line, in and out on that first shot attempt. Dillard has no points in the second half. He scored eight in the first half. Waynesburg rebounds and goes back to offense. Waynesburg leads by one point. It's 52 to 51. Matt Popek on the right wing over to Jansen Knotts in the right wing corner pass inside the right lane. Isaiah Alonzo tried for the shot, but it missed. It was defended well. Now St. Vincent back on offense. There's Nelson Etuck top of the key over to the right wing. There's Betsko. Over to the left wing now, Etuck top of the key, Betsko for three from the top of the key, it's off the front of the rim, no good. And Isaiah Alonzo gets the rebound. He had the same positioning on that rebound as the last one he got called for the foul for. Now Waynesburg on offense, Matt Popek on the right wing, but Popek tried to dribble. When he did, it was knocked out of his hands by Walter Bonds. Went out of bounds, off of St. Vincent. So Waynesburg will get the inbound from the far sideline. And a substitution coming down for St. Vincent. Shamar Bennett into the game and out of the game, Nelson Etuck. And Shamar Bennett at 10 points. He scored eight of those in this second half. He's been dangerous against Waynesburg in this second half. Matt Popek top of the key now gets the inbound. He loses possession, but it's picked back up by Waynesburg. As Alonzo at the top of the key over now to Popek on the left wing, back to the top of the key. Popek dribbles. Now to the left wing corner, Ryan Felberg tried for a three, but it missed off the left side of the rim. Rebounded by St. Vincent, and now they come back to their offensive side of the court. There's Corey Harden, tries a three from the right wing, and he makes it. Corey Harden now with six points, his first three of the game made there, and St. Vincent now leading by two. It's 54-52, five minutes, 20 seconds left in the second half. Isaiah Alonzo has it on the left wing, over to the left baseline. There's... Ryan Felberger will dribble to the left wing, past the top of the key. There's Matt Popek from the foul line. He tries a jumper. That's no good. Rebounded by Fetzko. St. Vincent retains possession and transitions to offense. Walter Bonds tries to dribble in the paint, but he couldn't find space. He passes out, though, to the left wing corner where Corey Harden misses a three off the front of the rim. Now Shamar Bennett on the rebound. Anthony Dillard tried a shot under the net off of the pass from Shamar Bennett. As a matter of fact, that shot did not miss. The basket is good, a foul called. Oh, a bit of confusion going on here. Apparently the basket counted. 
Timeout called by Waynesburg, so let's get uh, get that sorted out. St. Vincent scored a basket. It was Anthony Dillard, I believe, who came down with that. But let me let me check for you. But while we wait for that, it's 56-52. St. Vincent leads Waynesburg in this men's basketball game. Four minutes, 51 seconds left in the second half. And on the other side of the bracket, with 12-19 left in the second half, Bethany, the number eight seed, leads, or excuse me, trails Franciscan, the number nine seed at 64-56. The winner of that game on the other side of the bracket will go on to play the number one team, Westminster, and the winner of this game will play Geneva. So it is Anthony Dillard who made the basket. So he's at 10 now for St. Vincent. Whistle stopped play on that basket. They said that it counted, but no foul against Waynesburg. So it seems that that was just aggressive playing by both sides. St. Vincent made the basket and no foul called against Waynesburg. So they're still at seven team fouls. St. Vincent at five team fouls. Waynesburg trailing by four in this men's basketball game. You're listening to WCYJ FM. I'm Nicholas Callis, Jack Hillgrove with me. Winner of this game moves on to the quarterfinals. The loser is done. The first round is compiled of teams 7 through 10 in seeding. All teams made it this year. Whistle stop play. Matt Popek was dribbling. But an off the ball foul called on Ryan Felberg. Ryan Felberg now at three fouls individually. Waynesburg is at eight team fouls. St. Vincent already in bonus time but no shooting for St. Vincent on that off the ball foul. So it will just be inbounded to St. Vincent who would transition to offense. Walter Bonds has the top of the key. Being guarded by Ryan Felberg. Four minutes, 30 seconds left in this second half. Corey Harden inside by the foul line to Shamar Bennett being double teamed by Felberg and Alonzo. Bennett bounce pass into Anthony Dillard who fights for the basket, puts it off the backboard and he makes it 12 points for Dillard now. There are three players in double-digit points for St. Vincent, and St. Vincent now leads this game by six. It's 58-52, just about four minutes left in this second half. Matt Popek has it on the right wing. Popek over to Felberg, who wasn't looking at the top of the key. Felberg was running into the right lane, or running into position in the left lane, but he left the pass vacant. Ball went out of bounds down by the near sideline. So St. Vincent will inbound, but with that stoppage, Tim Fusina, the head coach, will call a 30-second timeout. Three minutes, 56 seconds left in regulation of this game, and St. Vincent leads at 58-52. to Waynesburg was up 36-27 to at halftime. And they were doing well throughout the first part of this half. But Shamar Bennett turned it on. He has eight points in this second half, ten points total. Three players now for St. Vincent are in double digits. And for Waynesburg, they've got players in foul trouble. Six players have at least two fouls or more. And three players have at least three fouls or more. Waynesburg also at 18 fouls in the half. So bonus time, something to worry about. And double bonus time looming. Right now, St. Vincent only at five team fouls. So they have one more to give without any shooting repercussions. St. Vincent inbounds, Walter Bonds takes it across half court. Over to the right wing being guarded by Felberg. Over to the top of the key, there's Fetzko out of the left wing corner, dribbling the left baseline is Corey Harden, but the ball got blocked away. Taken in though by Shamar Bennett of St. Vincent who dribbles inside the paint and makes the basket. He's got 12 points total now and St. Vincent extends its lead over Waynesburg at 60 to 52. Three and a half minutes left in regulation of this game. Matt Popek from the left wing shoots it. It's off the front of the rim, no good. That was a three-point shot, but it missed. And now St. Vincent will take it. And it's Walter Bonds by the near sideline, and he's taking his time. St. Vincent can afford to take its time now. Short time on the clock. Jamar Bennett tried to dribble inside the left lane. But he got blocked. However, a whistle stops play. A foul caught on Waynesburg. 
Jansen Knotts now at four team foul, or excuse me, four individual fouls. St. Vincent now at nine, excuse me, Waynesburg now at nine team fouls in the half. And since that was a shooting foul, Shamar Bennett will get a guaranteed two. Shamar Bennett has not taken any free throws in this game, but during the regular season shot 55%, first one misses off the backside of the rim. Just over three minutes left in this second half. It's 60-52. to 52. The winner of this game goes on to play Geneva, the number two team. St. Vincent was seated at 10. Waynesburg seated at 7. So Waynesburg, the higher seed, and hosting the game at the Rudy Marisa Fieldhouse on Waynesburg University's campus. Second shot good by Shamar Bennett. One for two from the free throw line in this game. He's at 13 points total. And Waynesburg will take it back to offense now with St. Vincent leading by eight points and just under three minutes left in regulation of this game. That Popek on the right wing over to Jansen Knotts on the right wing corner. Pass tipped. Jansen Knotts had his pass tipped off of Shamar Bennett, but the ball went out of bounds past the right baseline, so Waynesburg will remain with possession. Bryson Wolf will inbound from the right baseline. Over to Isaiah Alonzo inside the arc off the backside of the rim. No good. Ryan Philberg went up for the rebound but missed it. Came down into the hands of St. Vincent's Shamar Bennett. And now St. Vincent will take it across half court. It's Walter Bonds on the far side. Walter Bonds now dribbles toward the left wing. He's being guarded by Ryan Felberg. Now it's Fetzko from the right wing for three. No good on the backside of the rim. Rebounded by Isaiah Alonzo. Two and a half minutes left in the second half of this game. It's 61 to 52. St. Vincent leads Waynesburg in this men's basketball game. Matt Popek will try a three from the left wing. That's no good off the backside of the rim. Rebounded by Anthony Dillard. And St. Vincent gains possession again. Waynesburg hasn't scored in a couple of minutes. Shamar Bennett has it now at the top of the key, tries to dribble to the left lane, but he finds some struggles. Has his shot contested well, and Isaiah Alonzo gets the rebound. Alonzo over to Wilt, and a whistle stops play. Unsportsmanlike conduct called against Waynesburg. Isaiah Alonzo was frustrated with Shamar Bennett. As a matter of fact, they're both called for unsportsmanlike. They'll each get an individual foul. So Isaiah Alonzo at three personal fouls now. And Shamar Bennett also at three. So St. Vincent is in double bonus time now. They have, or Waynesburg has 10 team fouls as Matt Popek misses that shot inside the paint off the front side of the rim. St. Vincent now at six team fouls. So they're one away from putting Waynesburg in bonus time. And Ryan Felberg gets caught on a foul there, an intentional foul. Felberg at four fouls now. St. Vincent already in double bonus time, so a guaranteed two free throws coming to the shooter of St. Vincent's choice. Four, or excuse me, three players have four fouls for Waynesburg right now. Just foul trouble this entire half. First free throw, good. Walter Pons was the selected free throw shooter. He's at nine points now in the game. This is Walter Bonds' first time at the free throw line this game. On the regular season, he shot 53%. Second shot is good, and Walter Bonds joins the double-digit scoring club for St. Vincent. Four players have reached double digits in point total. Ryan Felber quickly went across half court down by the far side. But a whistle stop play. Foul caught on Nelson Etuck. His first personal foul, St. Vincent now at 17 fouls in the half. And now Waynesburg in bonus time since St. Vincent got to 17 fouls in the half. So Ryan Felberg has a one and one opportunity. He missed the first, so we won't get a second. Well, rebounded though by Matt Popek. And it goes out of bounds past the middle of the baseline. It went out of bounds off of St. Vincent, so Ryan Felberg will get to inbound from the left baseline. But before that happens, well, the buzzer went off for a substitution, but nobody came in. So play will resume. Felberg bounce pass from the left baseline into Isaiah Alonzo from about three feet away. He puts up a layup and makes it. Isaiah Alonzo has reached 20 points, nearly his average for the regular season. It's now 63-54. Waynesburg trails St. Vincent with a minute and a half left. In the second half, and a timeout called by Waynesburg. St. Vincent has not called a timeout yet in this game. Waynesburg has called three. 
Waynesburg trails by nine with a minute and a half left. Not an impossible deficit, but one that seems unlikely to overcome at this point in the game. Update across the bracket. With 8.17 left in the second half, Franciscan, the lower seed, is beating Bethany right now by a score of 75 to 65. The winner of that game goes on to play Westminster, and the winner of this game will go on to play the number two seed at Geneva. Uh, the men's basketball playoffs this season are a bit unprecedented, like the entire year has been. So uh, past this first round, every round past the quarterfinals will be reseeded where the highest seed will play the lowest seed, then the two middle seeds will play each other. But no need to look too far into that right now because it's so uncertain. Timeout over. You're listening to WCYJFM coverage of men's basketball at Waynesburg University, Waynesburg. Trailing this game against St. Vincent right now, 63-54. to 54. I'm Nicholas Callis, Jack Hillgrove with me. St. Vincent will get the inbound from the left baseline. Corey Harden will inbound for St. Vincent. And now full court press coming from Waynesburg, trying to play defense. And an intentional foul, Isaiah Alonzo fouls Shamar Bennett. So Isaiah Alonzo with four personal fouls now. Four players for Waynesburg at four fouls. They might not even be able to intentionally foul anybody anymore with how many fouls they've had. St. Vincent already a double bonus time. Two. Walter Bonds at 10 points. Misses his first attempted free throw off the left side of the rim, then off the backboard and away off the right side. Substitution for St. Vincent. Enzo Fetzko out of the game and back into the game. Nelson Etuck, one of the five starters for St. Vincent in this game. Just over a minute remaining in the second half. Walter Bonds' second free throw is in and out of the net, no good. Still a 10-point game in which St. Vincent leads. Ryan Felberg will take it across half court down by the far side. He's now at the right wing, pass over to the left wing, pass tipped, but into the hands of Popek. Out to Bryson Wilt, passes over to the right lane. There's Isaiah Alonzo, who is called for an offensive foul as he tried to dribble in and make the shot. So Isaiah Alonzo has fouled out of the game. He's reached five and now a discussion, a heated discussion between both teams going on there. Shamar Bennett is called with another foul as is Isaiah Alonzo. Bryson Will comes into the game. Isaiah Alonzo is fouled out of the game. So he'll go take a seat on the bench. Waynesburg's season end seems to be looming in this game. Whistle blows stopping play as that inbound was taken in by St. Vincent. Foul called against Waynesburg. It's against Bryson Wilt, his third personal. Against St. Vincent already in bonus time, so these fouls are just routine to stop the clock. 50 seconds left in the second half. It's 64-54. St. Vincent leads Waynesburg in this men's basketball game. And again, Walter Bonds will go to the line. Bonds is two for four in today's game for free throws. He missed both of his opportunities last time to the line about 10 seconds ago. First shot in for Bonds as Ryan Felberg comes into the game for Waynesburg. Walter Bonds at 11 points now for St. Vincent. Second shot up, second shot's good. So Walter Bonds is four for six, four for six. From the free throw line and out, Waynesburg quickly goes to offense. Bryson Wilt hands off to Matt Popek at the left wing. Over to the top of the key. Popek still dribbling. Right hand then, left hand, and a whistle stops play. As Popek was dribbling on the foul, caught against Waynesburg again. Will Helton called for the foul. The second Waynesburg player to foul out of the game. Will Helton has reached five. So he'll take a seat on the bench and back into the game for Waynesburg. Briston Bennett. 40 seconds left in the second half. It's 66-54. Waynesburg trails St. Vincent. And a whistle stops play. An intentional foul called against Ryan Felberg. His fifth personal foul. Three, three foul outs within the last 10, 10 to 20 seconds of this game. Jake Scheidt will come into the game for Ryan Felberg, who just fouled out. And another two free throws coming for St. Vincent, but before that player goes to the line, Shamar Bennett taken out, and back into the game, Nelson Etuck, and shooting two for St. Vincent, Enzin, excuse me, Enzo Fetzko, first one in for Fetzko. 
who has four total points now. Fetzko is two for two during the regular season on his free throw attempts, and he's still perfect four for four. Has five total points now. St. Vincent leading 68-54, 30 seconds left in the second half. Matt Popek dribbles the right baseline, or excuse me, the right lane, and he makes it. So Matt Popek now at 12 points as a timeout is called by Waynesburg. They've used four timeouts now. So I guess a significant amount to recap there in 30 seconds of game clock, a significant amount happened. Uh, the intentional fouls by Waynesburg stopped the clock. Left for try to give them an opportunity to come back in this game, but now they're trailing by 12 points. Score 68-56 with 30 seconds left in the second half. St. Vincent is leading this game. This men's basketball game over Waynesburg. Three players have fouled out for Waynesburg. Isaiah Alonzo, Will Helton, and Ryan Felberg. So two key pieces and a young freshman who got a start in one of the games during the regular season. Waynesburg again led this game 36-27 at halftime. Now they're trailing by 12. And it seems we'll continue to see the common theme of intentional fouls stopping the clock to end this game. Of course, not a bad idea when you're only playing for this game now. You win, you move on, you lose, and the season comes to an end. So this game resumes. Inbound for St. Vincent on the left baseline, but Waynesburg in a full court press. Anthony Dillard with it. And a whistle stops play. Predictable foul called there. Intentional foul by Briston Bennett, his third personal. And again, St. Vincent already in double bonus time, so two free throws coming. Jack, how many different ways can I say free throw or double bonus time? I think one. <laughs> Anthony Dillard will shoot for St. Vincent. First one's up and good for him. He's got 13 now. Anthony Dillard, a six foot four freshman. Four freshmen and a senior started this game. The only senior, Shamar Bennett. Second one by Anthony Dillard is good. And Dillard was one of the freshmen to start this game for St. Vincent. St. Vincent now leads 70-56, 20 seconds left in the second half. Dillard up to 14 now, Waynesburg on offense. Matt Popek over to the left wing. There's Briston Bennett who missed, but a rebound attempt by Bryson Wilt missed as well. He rebounded it and then tried to shoot it again, but it missed. And an intentional foul by Waynesburg stops the clock with nine seconds left in the second half. Foul called on Bryson Wilt, his fourth personal. St. Vincent's already in double bonus time, so once again, uh, St. Vincent player will be awarded two free throws. It'll be Christian Fetzko. Fetzko, a 5'10 freshman. Started zero games, but played in seven of the nine for St. Vincent as that first one's up and good. Fetzko now three for three at the free throw line for St. Vincent in this game. He's got six total points pending this second free throw. Second one's up and good. Seven points now for Fetzko. And the clock winds down with Waynesburg trailing by 14. Correction, 16. Matt Popek makes the basket. And that'll do it. Waynesburg won't foul anymore. So the last basket of the game made by Matt Popek. But the final score of this game, St. Vincent wins and beats Waynesburg 72 to 58. St. Vincent will move on and play Geneva, the number two seeded team. That game scheduled for Tuesday, March the 16th. Well, there's silence in the stadium. It seems deafening, but there are no fans allowed in the stadiums because of COVID-19 regulations. Just a game that seems heartbreaking for Waynesburg. Nine-point lead at the half for Waynesburg, and they end up losing 72-58. to Jack, any final thoughts? You're up nine at half. You lose by 14. That's it. All right, well, on the other side of the bracket, 85-75 is the score. Franciscans leading... Bethany with five and a half minutes left in the second half of that game. The winner of that game goes on to play Westminster, but again, Waynesburg loses this game against St. Vincent at home, so technically an upset because St. Vincent was the lower seed. The 10 seed beats the 7 seed and moves on to play the number 2 seed. Again, St. Vincent will play Geneva. That game's scheduled for March the 16th. That's this Tuesday. 
Well, that'll do it here from the Rudy Marisa Fieldhouse. Yeah, another number just before we wrap it up. I mean, Waynesburg 58% in the first half from the field, in the second half 33%. In the first half, they were 5 of 7 from 3. The second half, 0 for 8. Out rebounded 42 to 34. You had three guys foul out. I mean, you know, a tale of two halves. Shamar Bennett was held in check in the first half. Nothing. He had a bucket. That was it. Finished with 14 points. Had a heck of a second half. You have four guys in double figures. Give all the credit to the Bearcats. They made the necessary adjustment adjustments in the locker room. Came out on top. Again, you're up by nine and a half. You lose by 14. We've seen this Waynesburg team not only this against St. Vincent. We saw the collapse against Chatham, up 18 and a half. Um, the, the second half has been this cr uh, a big kryptonite for these jackets, and it's a shame. To, it's a shame to see the season end this way, but you know, again, give credit to Terrence Smith and the Bearcats because they adjusted properly and they got the right to play Geneva on Tuesday. Well, again, that'll do it here from the Rudy Marisa Fieldhouse for Jack Hillgrove. I'm Nicholas Callis. This game has ended once again. The final score: St. Vincent 72, Waynesburg 58.